Hi kiddos, Hetzel here. Welcome to the 2015-2016 school year at Jeffco Virtual Academy. I'm so excited to have you in my course and I cannot wait to get to know you better. Um, today I'm going to show you a couple of different things looking at Schoology. I'm going to show you how to access your English course and also where to get started with our first assignments, okay? Well, let's get started. You can see right now that my computer is at the front page of Jeffco Schoology. To find your English classroom, you're gonna come up here and click on courses. Then you will scroll down to either English 7 or English 8. For the purpose of today's video, I'm just gonna go into the seventh grade classroom. Eighth graders, your classroom will look almost identical to this, except for you'll have a different picture over here on the left-hand side of your screen, okay? All right, now, the first page that you are automatically taken to when you enter my classroom is the updates page. The updates page is, well, where I leave you updates. Um, I will be leaving information about due dates, about assignments, um, helpful information. Please make sure that you are reading the updates page every day um, when you log into your English course because there really will be some helpful and important information there for you um, to read and to understand and any changes or anything that need to be happening in our course will be listed on the updates page. All right. Uh, the next most important page besides the updates is going to be the materials page. The materials page is where you'll actually be able to access all of your work for the course as well as some really helpful information for you. Um, for example, the first folder that you'll see is the instructor, instructor, excuse me, and course information folder, and that's where you can find out all about me. Um, as I've already told you, my name is Hetzel. Um, my first name is Cassidy. Um, my phone number right here, guys, this is my number that you can call me on, text me on at any time that you're having problems, questions, or have concerns about anything in the course. If you don't understand something um, that I'm asking you to do for an assignment, I expect and want you to call, text, or email me. So the first thing that you'll notice is that I've put all of my information on this folder so that I'm just a click away from you, okay? So anything that you need from me, you can absolutely get by emailing, calling, or texting. Again, phone number, email, um, and if you want to book an individual appointment with me, you're going to click on this link. This will take you to my personal, um, personal scheduler, I would say, where you can see my calendar, you can see when I'm available and when I'm not available, and then you simply just click on a time that you want to meet, so Tuesday at 8 a.m., you would put your first, last name in your email address, which you would use your Jeffco email. You type in the letters and you would confirm a booking. And that means you've set up and booked an appointment with me for Tuesday, um, August 18th at 8 a.m. in the morning. It's very simple. I really do try to make myself as available to you guys as I possibly can. Um, so please take advantage of my calendar and book an appointment with me whenever you need to, okay? All right, getting out of this screen, I'm gonna go back over here. Um, if you unfortunately aren't able to complete an assignment on time, that's okay. Please ask um, for an extension first. And then once you have finished the assignment and you're ready to turn it in, there is a late work form here that you will automatically be taken to. And this is where you will enter your first and last name and what assignment you submitted late. This is going to help me keep track of all of the different assignments coming in and especially the late ones where I don't get notified in Schoology that they've been submitted. So please remember to fill out this late work submission form anytime that you are turning in an assignment after the deadline originally passed, okay? Awesome. I'm gonna get back out of there and I'm gonna come back over here. So those are the main things on the front of the folder. If you actually click into the folder though, there are two different things here. Uh, you can get to know me a little bit. You can read about my story and how um, I'm married to my husband, who's my soulmate and best friend, and there's some family pictures, and there's my cute little baby boy, and he's a big toddler now. 
Um, you can watch our adoption story if you choose to. You can see my naughty little puppy, Watson Huckleberry. Um, and you can just get some basic information about me and get to know me a little bit better. Um, I really want to get to know you guys, and I want you to be able to get to know me. So I've put a lot of little things in here about myself for you so you can um, get to know me a little bit better. All right, I'm going to go back over here to the material section, which will take us back to that folder. And the next thing I want to show you is the course content folder. This purple little folder, purple for the otters, Jeffco Virtual Academy's color is purple. So all of your otter work is going to be here in the purple folder. This course content folder will take you to um, all of our folders for the semester. And right now there's only one folder in there, which is the introductory unit. Um, please note that I do put dates on all of my folders so that you can see where you should be at any given time during the semester. So the introductory unit is something that we're going to be working on from August 17th, which is uh, Monday, and working on it until September 1st. All right, so once we click in on this folder, you'll see that we have session one and session two. You must complete session one before you're going to be able to do session two. Now, remember, this course is not self-paced. Uh, we're going to have assignments every week, and those are the assignments that you should be working on for that week. Um, you should not be going faster. You should not be going slower. You should stay right with me with the assignments to get the best education possible, okay? All right, so when I click into session one for August 17th through August 25th, there we go. You'll see that you have a bunch of pages in here. And when you start clicking on them, you will realize that each one has something different on it. You need to read each page in the order that they are presented. You must go through the unit as I present it to you, okay? So what you'll do is you'll read through the first pages. You'll understand that this is just a Welcome to English 7 or Welcome to English 8 posting. And then you'll see that I've got your learning objectives. In online learning, knowing what you're working towards and knowing what you should be learning is very, very important. So I'm always going to include a learning objectives folder. Now, sometimes you'll have assignments to do with the learning objectives, and other times you'll have reflections at the end of the unit. So just be aware that sometimes there are assignments for the learning objectives and sometimes there are not. Um, but you need to please read each of the learning objectives and understand what you're working toward learning, okay? All right, so as you go in, the next thing that you'll see is that I provide you with a suggested pacing guide. Now, this is a suggested pacing guide. Do you have to follow this exactly to the day? No. But if you want to be successful, this is how I've set it up for you to really try to um, make it easy and make learning in this course easy and fun for you. Um, you'll, you can see that this week I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then another Monday and Tuesday. The reason for that is we will start our weeks on Wednesdays. Um, Wednesday is a really good middle of the week. Um, it gives you the weekend to work on your assignments and not just so you have to get things done Monday through Friday, but it gives you that weekend before your absolute final deadline of Tuesday at 11.59. Now, I will not consider work late so long as everything is turned in by 11.59 p.m. on the Tuesday before the new material is released. Okay, what that means is I will not dock points off if you're a day or two late on assignments as long as it's turned in by that Tuesday at 11.59. If you're not able to get it in by Tuesday at 11.59, then you need to understand that you're going to lose 10% um, for being having the late work, sorry, you're going to lose 10% for having the work be late. Now, 10% is not a lot of deduction. That means you can still earn an A on any given assignment in my course. Um, the 10% is meant to urge you to be timely with your assignments, but it's not going to hurt you so that you can't earn an A on any assignment, okay? Um, if you have any questions about my late work policy, um, it is on the syllabus in that instructor and course information um, folder that I've provided for you. All right, so um, as you begin understanding and working through the week and going through the slides, you'll see 
that the orientation video that you're watching right now is included in this first week. All right. So now that we've kind of gone over how to access your materials and where to find your work, um, just a few other things I want to show you on Schoology, and that is really this little message icon up here in the blue bar. Uh, this little envelope right here is your message system. And you can email me directly right from up here. Um, you can also uh, go to the home page and access your messages over on the left hand side of your screen. You can uh, send me a message right here by clicking on new message and typing in um, Mrs. Hetzel and my name will pop up and you'll be able to send me an email. Uh, you can also do that directly from our course, like I said, from up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you this morning, and I will have lots of helpful videos coming up in the future in the course just to help you learn how to use certain uh, technology and how to do certain assignments. Um, if there's something that you don't know how to do in Schoology that you are needing to learn how to do, please email me and ask me, and I can make you your own personalized video um, for no cost, because that's what I'm here for. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to call, email, text. Um, just please try to get a hold of me or schedule an appointment so I can be there to help and support you. Again, I'm so excited to have you in my course, and let's get started. Have a great day, you guys, and if you need anything, please reach out for help. Bye!